Okay, so this is my second and third example para doon sa topic natin, integration by substitution or the U substitution. Now, in answering numbers 2 and 3, kailangan ma-recognize natin yung pattern kung sino yung magiging U at sino yung magiging DU. Sa case nito, sino yung magiging F of G of X at sino yung magiging G prime of X DX because the integral of F of U DU is equal to F of G of X, G prime of X DX, where u is differentiable function of x, therefore u equals gx, and the resulting function is f of u plus c. So, kailangan identify natin kung sino dito yung u at sino dito yung du. Okay? That is recognizing the pattern. Kung ito yung ating magiging u, and if you get derivative of this or du of this, the result is 2x dx. Di ba? So, pwedeng ito ang maging u. Sa case naman nito, if sine 4x is u, and derivative of uh, the differential of u is cosine 4x dx. So, therefore, pwede ito maging u dito. Okay? Try natin. So, we let let u equals x squared minus 1. So, kunin natin si du. du is 2x dx. So, papansin natin, x dx yun na yun. Okay? So, ito na yung g prime of x. Uh, kasi si u is equal to gx. So, therefore, du is equivalent to g prime x. G prime of x natin. So, remove natin si 2 dun sa right side. Divide natin both side by 2. So, we have du over 2 equal to x dx. So, i-replace na natin yung mga variables. So, we have equal of, ito ay u, so u to the fourth. x dx is du over 2. So, we have lupas natin yung 1 half, and then u to the fourth du. Gamit yung power rule natin ng uh, integration, we have 1 half u to the fifth over 5 plus a constant of integration. So, we have u to the fifth over 10 plus c. Now, we have ang u natin x squared minus 1. So, we have x squared minus 1 over 10 raised to 5 plus c. So, yun ang sagot natin. Okay? Pwede natin yung ma-check kung tama sagot natin by getting the derivative of the resulting function. Pag din derivative natin yan, so 5, oh, try natin. Uh, check natin. Derivative natin. Diretsyo na 5x squared minus 1 raised to 4. Derivative ni, two, ni x squared minus 1 is 2x okay, uh, over 10. So, cancel to, to, to. So, matitira is x squared minus 1 raised to 4x. Okay? Nasaan yung dx? So, therefore, if we get the differential, we have here dx. Okay? So, tama. Para mapabalik ulit dito, integrate ka ulit. <laughs> so, ulit ka ulit lang. Okay? So, tama sagot natin sa example number 2. Next is example number 3. Now, ang u natin dito is sine 4x. So, we let u call sine 4x. Then, we determine the du. Du is... Um, derivative ng sine is cosine 4x times derivative pa ni 4x general differentiation so times 4 dx okay so therefore du equals 4 cosine 4x dx so meron na tayo nito na? so divide na lang natin both side by 4 na? para makuha natin yung value ni cosine 4x dx Therefore, du over 4 is equal to cosine 4x dx. Substitute na natin. We have integral of sine 4x is u. By the way, kung nalilito kayo dito, this can be written as sine 4x raised to 5. Okay? 5 power. So, therefore, we have u to the 5th. And then, this is du over 4. So, du over 4. Okay? Then, ilabas natin yung 
1 fourth. So we have 1 fourth integral of, we have u to the fifth du. Oh, sorry, u to the fifth. u to the fifth du. Now, gamit yung ating uh, power rule, yung ating integration, so we have 1 fourth, that will become u to the 6 over 6 plus c. Then, replace natin si u ng sine 4x. So, we have sine 4x raised to 6 over 24 plus c. Or, pwede natin sagot na, lagay natin yung exponent na 6k function sine. So, we have sine to the 6 4x over 24, oh, sorry, over 24 plus C. Okay? So, that is our answer to sa ating example number 3. I'm going to give you another example para sa topic na ito. Thank you.